point making sculpting, I've kind of just formed this new habit of all those words put into one. Like, I see old radios or like computers, and I believe that like everything you see just deserves like to be something better. The message I'm sending through my art is, you know, anything can be anything. Never underestimate what something looks like. I feel like I'm at this time where I've officially kind of reached that point where I am actually like the epitome of like a, you know, like kind of like a man child because I'm building, you know, giant life-size action figures. I'm James Farmer, otherwise known as uh, Cherry Robot, 25 years old, uh, live in Beaverton, Oregon. Right now my occupation, full-time artist. In other terms, I give things that are thrown out a second chance. They put stuff that's still in the package and they just put a note on it that says trash. One day I was at work and I was uh, recycling through all this, you know, metal material. And I found this pipe, just giant steel pipe, and I was thinking to myself, you know, how much I liked Mega Man, I liked Samus. I got a note from a boss and brought the pipe home and took, took the arm off of my mannequin and uh, stuck it on and I stepped back and I just thought to myself, I'm gonna make cyborgs. <laughs> I was like, I, I think this is a, uh, I think I'm gonna make a big, Cyborg. <laughs> so that's, I mean, that's literally like, that's just, that's how it started. I always wanted to be the superhero, um, but as I grew older, all the different life experiences, I realized that I don't want to be the superhero. I want to be the guy behind the curtain, giving him the armor, you know, like, I want to be the scientist now. As a kid, I did some drawing. I actually broke apart toys and would glue them together and whatnot. It was, you know, nothing like this, but other than that, I kind of, you know, liked painting or stuff like that, but I, I would never, I never saw art being like a passion or a hobby when I was a kid. Like, I never thought of it. So I'm gonna keep the back, but I'm gonna use the chip inside of it. The style just kind of basically just chooses itself with each and every piece that I make. You know, there's no, there's no planning, there's no blueprints, there's no, uh, there's no thinking ahead on this. It's purely, uh, purely just like an impulse art project. Every single project that I do is just right out of the bag, no planning, go for it. And the style kind of just, it just starts morphing on itself. What do you think of Precious's paint job? Dude, Precious is a pro, that's for sure. <laughs> I, I have to have color everywhere where I'm working. So when people come over, I just throw them a can of spray paint. I'm like, hey, here you go. If you wanna, if you wanna do some painting, be my guest. Um, everyone loves to do it. They, nobody, nobody, you know, just gets to spray paint a garage floor. So. There's tag over tag in here, and there there will be more. So yeah, just keep it going. I think I'm at that that stage in my life where nothing else really makes sense to me anymore. I just want to do what I exactly want to do, and this is exactly what I want to do. Other than travel, <laughs> never been outside of the United States, so kind of sucks, but. <laughs> <laughs>